another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to add a utility bar to the Studio Press theme by Altitude Pro. Here we have the Studio Press demo site for Altitude Pro. As we can see, when we start the page, it's like this. Then as soon as we start to scroll up, you get this Altitude uh, Pro navigation menu. What I want to happen is that this navigation bar gets pushed down a little bit and directly above it we have our utility bar. Now there are a number of tutorials already out there about adding utility bars but they don't seem to work for the Altitude Pro theme so I decided to write this one. So here is my demo site. So when we scroll up in this site a little bit what happens is you get this utility bar and then this uh, navigation bar is stuck right below it and if we scroll back up it disappears again. So this is what we want to do today. So what I'm going to do now is go into the background, rip out all the code and show you how it's done. So here we have the Altitude Pro theme with all the code ripped out. As you can see when we scroll nothing happens. So let's get started with adding the utility bar. Go ahead and go to your text editor and the first thing we want to do is to register a widget area. So let's go ahead and do that. In the comments section, let's, say, let's just say register utility bar widget areas. And for the ID, we'll call it utility dash bar. And for the theme name, we'll just call it utility bar. And for the theme name, we'll just call it altitude altitude oops pro and we'll just put a little description here add you utility bar content here so let's save that and go back to our uh, dashboard to see it, what happens so far so you can see there's nothing here right now so when we refresh now we have our utility bar but nothing's going to happen yet because we haven't put any code in to display it. But just in preparation for that, let's just put in here a custom HTML widget area. And in here, let's just say, uh, let's say this is a utility bar and save that. If we go to our web page and refresh, nothing happens yet because we don't have the sufficient code to do it. And we're going to take care of displaying the code now. So at this point, let's go back to our text editor and add some code so that we can display the widget area. So let's do that now. So let's add the, the hook genesis before header hook. And we will call this function WPB underscore utility uh, underscore bar. And then the ID, we will call it, we will take the same ID from the registering part. So we called it utility dash bar. And um, that should take care of it for now. So let's save that code. And if we go back to our web page, nothing's happened yet still. I mean, we have this here. This is a utility bar, but it's not really what we want. As you can see, when we scroll, it disappears and leaves this gap here. So we need to take care of that next. So the next thing we need to do is to create a JavaScript file that will add and remove the CSS when we scroll. So let's go back to our text editor and in here in the JavaScript uh, folder that we have right here, let's create a new file. Let's call it utility, utility bar. Okay. And I'm not going to type out all this code. I'm just going to paste it for the sake of, uh, speed but basically what this uh, um, JavaScript code is doing is that after we scroll 50 pixels it's going to add this reveal class that we're going to define later in our CSS folder and if it's not scrolled or we scroll back up to the top it's going to remove the class and this variable here I've created because if we go back here we can see that this amount here it leaves a gap so what we want to do is we whatever the size of this utility bar is 
we wanted to push this uh, navigation menu that uh, exact amount so we need to find out what the size is so that's what this variable does is it finds out what size the utility bar is and it saves it in height and then what we're doing is that height that we've saved we're adding it to the dark class which this is is part of and it'll move it back down just the right amount of space so that's what that's all about so let's save this code and if we um, refresh, we can see nothing's happened yet because we haven't put in any CSS. So that's what we're going to do in just a little while. But before we do that, we have to let uh, our functions PHP file know that we have a JavaScript file. Otherwise, all that code we wrote isn't going to be even seen by uh, the PHP. So it won't have any effect. So what we need to do is at the bottom of our util uh, functions PHP file, just paste in this code. We're just unqueuing the um, the code, so um, just paste that in and save it. And let's go back, and there shouldn't be significant changes yet. Okay, so there's still the same. So not what we need to do as a final step now is to add some CSS. So let's go back to our text editor and now let's open up our style.css uh, file. And at the bottom, let me just put a few, a little bit of space so you can see what I'm doing here. Let's just drop in this code. Actually, let's put in a comment up here. Let's say uh, utility bar CSS. Oops. And let's just put some uh, stars just to section it off. And if we save this CSS now, and we go back to our page and we refresh it, and now we scroll, we can see that we have our utility bar working perfectly. And you can see here that it is perfectly attached to this. And if we made it bigger, just to demonstrate for you. Okay, so let's in here, let's just for the sake of arguments, add a col calendar, okay? And then if we go back and we refresh, you can see that it automatically pushes it down the exact height that it needs to be pushed down. So you don't have to be adjusting the CSS at any point. A JavaScript takes care of it for you and adds the exact height that you need. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to visit my webpage, wpbasics.org. Bye-bye.